let's make a doghouse in Fusion 360, because why not? Okay, this is a fairly simple build um, of a doghouse, and this is how I would personally make one. It is a little bit of overkill, as you'll see, as far as some of the framing, but I have a pretty big German Shepherd that may destroy something that's um, not really built sturdy. So some of this stuff can be changed if you decide to build this one. And the drawings will, as usual, be on my website for free at uh, Josh James. That's J A E M E S designs.com. That's Josh James design.com. Anyway, so moving on, I'm just doing my layout here with all of my uh, offset planes and mid planes, getting those knocked up, knocked out early on because they will be necessary in this particular design. Now, as you can see, I did offset those concrete blocks. I don't really want to put them on the edge. It doesn't look as good. Just a simple thing that I would do if you decide to build this. And for the base, I did use uh, three quarter inch plywood. Again, for a little bit uh, sturdier uh, and stable uh, doghouse for a larger uh, dog. Now, you can use like marine grade plywood or if you want to seal this, but once you paint these dog houses or bird houses, stuff like that, they'll, they'll last a pretty good you know, length of time, especially if you maintain the uh, paint. But um, I wouldn't necessarily use anything treated for something like this.
again, looks like it's overkill, um, but I did want to do a top plate for the roof to sit on easier, so I did change this a little bit as I was going. Now, I will be using probably pocket screws on all of these, to be honest. Um, as far as connecting all these to the base. Um, but again, you don't have to do that. I mean, you could just, if you have a nail gun, I don't have a nail gun, I well, I do, but it, it's a finished nail gun. So obviously that wouldn't work here. So I would probably just pocket screw all these in just to give them a good uh, look and a much stronger adherence to the uh, sub floor uh, for this. Now on the the roof that I'm about to build here in a minute on this, I would probably just attach it with some uh, metal clips and like Simpson clips or like you would use typically on a house for like windstorm. If you have that in your area, we do have that down in the south near the Gulf. That's very popular to use strapping from a company called Simpson to uh, get everything tied down pretty good in the event of wind. but. Um, a lot of dog houses, the top or the roof just is movable. And in this case, what I would probably end up doing is putting a hinge on one side where I can just open it and close it. I don't know that I would necessarily um, go to the extent of uh, making it where it just comes off all the way because chances are I wouldn't even take it off. but. The weight of the roof with the shingles, you will see uh, me add in here, and the plywood would be more than enough weight to just keep it on there without a hinge. Also, if you if you attach the top uh, plywood together uh, at the very top.
Okay, so again, on this roof at the top of the pitch there, I would attach this with just some screws and make it to where this can be easily just taken off in one piece. Now, the weight of the composite shingles and the plywood, which this plywood will eventually be half inch, it's drawn way too thick here. I catch that later and come back and fix it in Fusion 360 on this video. So you can see how I go back into the history and change this. A good little tip to know how to use Fusion 360. But that being said, the I would probably add a hinge on the inside of that top plate to the uh, roof line on one side to where I can open this like a lid and it would just stay on the doghouse. But that's not really necessary. You can notch in the bottom of the plywood where it sits on the top plate there and it'll hold it a little bit better. Many different ways to do this. I didn't show it in Fusion 360 on this build uh, because it's a pretty simple design. I would just assume that you would probably do something like that if you were to build this or like I said, you can just set this on top. If it's attached pretty nice at the pitch there, maybe even with Simpson clips here as well, There's, it's highly unlikely that this thing will come apart whenever you take it off. And it shouldn't be that heavy to be honest, but um, that's kind of my reasoning here as to how this roof will set on top of the doghouse. Because again, a lot of people make these movable so you can clean it easier uh, and just move it around easier. If there's not that much weight all connected.
All right, stay tuned for part two. Uh, we'll be adding the door and the composite shingles. These videos that go a little bit longer, it's even with a good internet signal and a decent computer, it takes a long time to get the high def video uploaded onto YouTube. So I have to separate these out, but I do apologize if that's annoying to some people, but uh, just a technical glitch that I have to deal with there. So hope you enjoy and stick around for part two. And again, you can build this for free on the, as far as if you want the plans, uh, when I'm done, that will be printed out through Fusion 360 on my website, joshjamesdesign.com.